today on Weekly Wharf We Cross, we have Center Ange versus Hirana, a step towards the top. Who will reign supreme? Find out coming up right now. On the blue side, we have Hirana, a step towards the top from the double heroine set. This is an unmodified Hirana deck built upon the burst damage from her ultimate plus entwined supremacy and white tama assist allowing for a massive burst on turn three of up to five damage on the red side we have center Ange from the niji sanji collaboration set very similar to hirana in that she does burst damage with her once per game her assists are both double aggressive assists that clear lanes and allow for big damage from both Signy and from Ant herself. These matches are played during our weekly sessions in a very casual style, so any mistakes that are made are caught if possible and rectified. And without further to do, looks like our selectors are ready. Let's Batoru! Red is on the play first, so Ange takes her first turn. A very simple turn, dropping two Artemises down. On the opponent's turn, these cannot be targeted by Signes or Elrigs, so that makes them very sticky and hard to deal with. On these early turns, the name of the game is getting little bits of damage in there where you can. So on this turn, a Romile or other similar removal, Signy, will not really do much work here. So you want to clear a lane and then maybe get some damage in in like that center lane right there. Probably what the Hirana player is deciding on right now is where exactly to get. We have a vanilla 5k. And there's that Ramile, unable to do anything. So we just got to get in for that chip damage. The vanilla 5k clears the top lane, and the Ramile sneaks in for the first damage of the game. We got an Arquin as the first burst of the game. No valid up to Signy to target, so just drawing a card. And then Hirana is blocked by a Servant, so we're on to the next turn. The Ange player must be thinking how best to get damage in now. Uh, with those aggressive assists they have, they can clear all these lanes and just really go ham, trying to burst down as much life cloth in these early turns as possible. And we got the Machina Slash to get rid of one of the Signy, followed by what we're going to assume is Yuzuki Garnet. Yep, we're clearing both these lanes, so we have a wide open board for the Ange player. The red player then drops a Driver's Ed and another Artemis. This is a very sticky board for the Hirana player to have to deal with to get damage through. And now we start the attacks. Oh, first one, not a burst. Second attack, also not a burst. Third attack. We got a burst, but there's nothing in the trash, so it does nothing, unfortunately. And then a center attack. Any servants? No servants. And we got a burst. That is Tristan, Crimson General, whose burst is look at the top five cards of your deck, add up to three of them to your hand, and the rest on the bottom in any order. It's a pretty good card. Hopefully Hirani gets some good cards from that. That was a massive four life cloth hit there against the Hirana player. They really need to get some lucky pulls here to get back into this.
Of the two assists Tirana has, the Machina is useless at this moment for clearing any of these lanes, but the Tama can be used as it bounces a 10k or less back to hand, and the Artemises are strictly vanish effects only that it prevents. After some deliberation, it looks like we're dropping a Hera Crimson Evil down, which if the entire board is red, you can pay red to vanish a 5k or less. Only valid target being the driver's Ed in the middle. Lancelot comes down next, paying 1 and vanishing a 5k or less, which targets the driver's Ed. It's a good target. It looks like Harana is trying to sneak in some damage here. We have an attack in the center potentially, and then if Tama bounces one of the two Artemis, and then a Signia attacks through that lane, that's up to two damage. That can happen. That's a nice way to get back into this. So it looks like we are playing Tama Loud Voice, and we are going to be bouncing one of these two Artemis back to hand. Looks like we're getting the Lancelot lane, so we are trying to get the bottom two lanes to get some damage in. Does Hirana have a Signy for that top lane, however, is the question. Currently sitting at a limit of 4 out of 5, so you need a level 1 up there. Looks like that's a Hanio, and that is over limit, so we'll have to clear that board up there. That's not a valid board state. I'm guessing that means Harana does not have a level 1 right now, which is unfortunate. Ange has the Life Cloth to spare at this point, so they would... Not necessarily be a bad idea to take some of this damage, maybe get some enter, some life burst or whatnot, but we'll see how defensive they want to be. Turns out very aggressive, so we are aggressively being defensive here. We're clearing one of those two. Got the Hera. Are we playing the other one? We are playing the other one, so we are clearing both lanes, which really brunts the damage from Harana back. That is a very rough and even a Servant. No damage at all from the Hirana player this turn. That is rough. Ange is the first to level three. So when Ange comes in, she invites two collab livers. These can be used to bounce a 12k or less to their owner's hand. You can use multiple in a turn, so this could clear up two lanes in one turn. And their once per game is when they attack, it deals damage to their opponent unless they can pay four or discard a card with guard till the end of turn. So that's an additional damage that can happen from just using her once per game. There are just no defenses here for Hirana. None of these assists can help right now, so we're going to the attack phase. First one is not a burst. Second attack is a burst that allows for a lane clear by discarding one. That's very worth it. Saves one of these life cloth from taking some damage. And Yukime is cleared from the board, so that prevents one damage. Do we have a Servant? We do have a Servant to block that. So Harana is just getting by with one Life Cloth left.
Harana makes it to level 3. So what can Harana do? When she enters, she draws a card and it charges 1. So give some another card. Hopefully that helps. And then when this Elrig attacks, for her once per game, she may down up to 2 level 2 Elrigs on their field. If they do, this deals damage to her opponent unless they discard a card with guard. So it's like Ange's ability, but does not have to pay for. Harana really needs to get both of her Elrigs up to level 2 to be able to use, use that ability, get back in this game. You can use a assist and not use all their enter abilities. So like the Machina cannot target anything with the top ability, but can still get a card back from trash as long as you do one of those abilities. We are then going in for the aggressive Machina Smash, which does minus. It does not vanish, so it does get past Artemis's defenses there. So we have two open lanes, and we have our Machina at level 2. Tama will obviously be going to level 2 at this turn as well. So we are probably going all in this turn for hopefully a massive, what is that, 7 damage to try to get back in this game. Next, we have our first piece usage. Go to the top. This will get a card tutored out from the deck. And since Ange is level 3, we'll enter burn them for 3. The tutored card is Nobunaga, which not only gives double crush, can also vanish a Signy 8k or less. That'll be pretty nice for clearing up that top lane and then getting the double crush effect in. Looks like Harana decided not to use the 8k vanish effect from Nobunaga. That will also negate the double crush effect since it's going to be vanishing a thing in front of it and not actually doing life cloth damage. So a Halberd full armed comes down next. This will draw two cards by discarding a card and paying one. It's not bad. Hopefully that gets another answer to fill that third slot there. This is the turn to go for Broke. So we have Tama Aura coming down for Hirana, giving an extra attack. Then we also have Entwined Supremacy giving another instance of damage coming from the attack. So we have lots of sources of damage coming from Hirana, trying to burst down Ange. Hirana then uses her once per game to get the last piece of the combo in. So we have in total one, two, three, four damage coming from Hirana and then two damage potentially coming from the Signy on the field so that's an up to six damage if that double crush on top was up there that could have been eight damage right there that's a lot of damage and it would have been a great turnaround looks like the Hirana player is just catching their mistake now good learning experience won't do it again in the future games
So now we are starting the damage in earnest. We have Halberd coming through for a burst, and it clears the Lancelot. That's very unfortunate for Hirana. Negates the damage. Hirana's attacks are now coming in. So we have... Let's see. First we are doing Entwined Supremacy. Damage comes through. It's a burst. Next up, we have the Hirana ability, tapping two level twos for another instance of damage. No burst there. Then we have the then we would have the damage from Hirana coming in next from the first attack. We have a burst there, no targets. And then there's shortcutting here. Tama would up Hirana, Hirana then would attack again for that last bit of damage, which does trigger yet another bursts. Burst differential right now is five to three in favor of Ange, but this game is currently tied at one life cost each. That was a pretty dramatic turnaround from the previous turn, but I want to say that Ange would have this in the bag now with those two collab livers still up and a couple pieces still up. This board will be quickly bounced and cleared, and I'm assuming there's going to be three damage coming through. Yep, we have Burning Curiosity, which will exile Nobunaga from the game, because it was exceeded. Next, we have a Clab Liver used to bounce Halberd back to hand. And that leaves Hirana wide open with no assists and no pieces left to defend herself. And we have three attacks coming in. This one burst better be prevent all damage from Signy and they're serving in hand. It's the only way to survive here. Ange then uses her once per game. So Hirana will have to have two servants in hand to potentially survive this. Dia Bride is this burst. It is a good burst. We'll clear one of the up Signy, but there's still one more Signy left to hit. And that will be game. Ange takes the win over Hirana in a very close, nail-biting game at the end. That Nobunaga miss at the end for a couple damage here might have been the difference. The final score is Ange with one life cloth left and Hirana with zero. Burst differential was five to four. I'd like to thank our selectors for playing on camera for us and hope you have a good day. Thank you for watching.